So now I told you my age, but I'm not going to tell anybody else. But I, I've been I've been around basketball for a long time. I mean, I was born here, raised in Canada, got a, a you know basketball scholarship, Eastern Michigan University. You know, played against pros. But you know, it's what I did after I was done university that you know that's probably the biggest. So I, you know, part of those, that pioneer, one of the pioneers of Canadian basketball. So that explosion of Canadian basketball, all that talent, guys going to the league. I, I was one of those guys that in the early '90s that was doing the blazing the AAU trails and and making making some of that stuff happen. So one of the things that I, I always said, with, you know, with, with Jamaica, because we, you know, and because I go to I travel to Africa as well too, about Africa and the Caribbean countries, is the move the movement that changed Canada. Why you got lottery pick after lottery pick and and all this kind of stuff. It didn't start from the top. It started from it really was a grassroots movement, right? So, what with the with even with the pros at this level, even though in Canada, you know, um, a lot of people focus on what was happening with the with the young guys that were making it. There was guys that was your age that was still balling, believing that there was some opportunities coming. And now Canada has two pro leagues. We had none when I was coming. There was no pro league in, in Canada, right? And so, and now more guys are getting going from Canadian leagues to the NBA, more guys are going from these Canadian leagues over to, um, you know, to, to Europe and stuff like that. And I'm telling you, because I've seen it myself, that, that, you know, it's the exact same situation as here in Jamaica as it was 30 years ago, the exact same situation. So some of you may not obviously miss that window being, you know, a, a lottery pick, you know, and, and or, or making it, you know, straight to the NBA from school. But I'm telling you, there will be a pro league in, in the Caribbean. I guarantee you there's going to be a pro league in the Car Caribbean. Has to. Right. I mean, and I'm not saying it, you know, I'm not just saying it because it's a match. I'm saying because I hear it. I talk. There's too much talent here for it not to happen. It's just a matter of time. It's just, you know, and so. What I'd like to do is get ahead of the curve, because what happens is when it starts, the people who are going to, going to make the most money, the people who are going to benefit from it, are the ones that are already prepared. So sometimes, you know, you got to live by faith. You don't see it. It's not there. It's not in front of your face. But I, I guarantee you it's going to come. There's things that are going to come. On my end, to help prepare for it, there's a, there's a few things that I've done that i'd like to you know to bring the jamaica's one i have i have a, a website it's, it's called elite one recruiting and i'll share it with you before, before you go and there's a coaches app for it so we developed an, an an app and so when we travel to africa and we travel those places and we you know it's a free app to go on we identify players we evaluate players and then we use that to market players to different agents and different you know people we are, that that we we have relationships so if that's one thing so helping to raise the level of exposure on that, that level. Secondly, is beginning to develop what, is, what we, you know, is just even if it's one pro team. And you got to understand what, what that means. Like, because it's a pro team doesn't mean that, doesn't mean that it has to be all the best players in Ireland. And it doesn't mean that you got to be making big bucks. A pro team, like, you know, that same perception is reality. If you act like a pro and we treat you like a pro, People are outside of here are going to believe you are pros. That's just the way it works. So if we get you in good uniforms, you know, we start, you know, we start, you know, um, scheduling exhibition games. We market you the market you the right right way. Outside of here, nobody knows the difference. If I say right now, this is this is a this is a twelve man pro team in Jamaica. You think I when I go back to Canada, and America, they're like, oh, okay, nice. How can I ball against them? And then we go and we get teams and we bring them here because the only way you're going to raise the level of basketball down here is you got to get teams here. That is my job. So if I can get a group of guys that can, can hoop and, 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 uh, and I can videotape you and market you and then go up to, up to Canada and America and I can bring some, some, you know, some men's teams down here or even guys sitting in the resorts. You got, you got people come down here and sit in these resorts that are former Division One players, former pros. We just need bodies to play against that will help raise the level of competition. And we got to play all the time. So it may sound like I'm trying to sell a pipe dream. That's, that's not it. I'm telling you, that's how it happened.
The only difference why it was easier for Canada is because we're right next door to America. So driving, you know, it's an eight-hour drive, and you're in D.C., Philly, you know, Pittsburgh. and So we had that advantage. So it's going to be a little bit trickier, but, I, but this is Jamaica. It sells itself. I know, I know dudes right now, if you say, hey, you want to go hoop in Jamaica? Like, where, where do I sign up? They're coming, but we just got to sell it. All right? So that, may, so that is what I'm telling you. That's what I'm up to. And then also, too, the last thing is because I, I work with kids, and, and the youth market is, is big for me. Is I think the young, the young guys on this island, they, they need mentors. They need role models. They, they know, yeah, it's nice that they got LeBron James on TV, but they need guys like you that are reachable that are touchable for the it's for to make it real for them right it's it, it's so important that next generation and you know they need role models they need remote role models that sound like them look like them walk where they walked bald where they bought went to school where they they went to they need it and when you go into a group of 10 12 years or we're you know we're the, that was like 10 11 year olds we were with earlier today yeah them kids look at me they they, they don't know what a pro is I could have easily introduced myself and say, "Yeah, I'm a pro." They don't know any different. As long as I, as long as I can bring that like a, a energy about me and a, a, a charisma about me, like a pro, they're gonna buy it. So I'm not saying we're faking it like you ain't trying to hoop, but I'm saying is like, if you want to create a movement in Jamaica that will change basketball like how it changed basketball in in Canada, you know, then Part of it is just is really just selling it. It's got to sell it, right? Because the talent's here, right? Do you need to improve? Heck yeah, I just watch you guys. And I mean, the last thing I will say, because I will spend time down here, is I'm also one of the best trainers that ever come out of the country, right? And that's, I'll tell anybody, you can ask Poison my history or Google it yourself, you know? I'm, I've always been known as one of the best trainers in, 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 in basketball in Canada. And I'm telling you right now, one of the biggest mistakes that I, that I see in, in the Caribbean and in, in Africa is the emphasis on shooting the basketball. I don't understand why, but when I look at guys shoot, I'm seeing all kinds of... Shooting is, I'm telling you, if you want to make money right now, shoot the basketball. I don't care how you... How, there's, there, there's dudes that are, that are 45, 50 years old still getting checks because they can shoot the basketball. The game, like as much as it's nice to be able to dribble and get to the rack and, and dunk, but if you can shoot the basketball, you're going to make a lot of money. And you'll make money for a long time. But shooting is something that is very technical. You got to take it seriously. It's got to be, you got to be willing to lay on your bed and, to, and form shoot. You got to be willing to sit on a chair and, and form shoot. You got to believe that, you know, that, that just a slight adjustment like this and changing the arc and, and committing to that is the difference between you standing on the outside watching somebody get paid or you being on the inside and, 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 and getting a check. And in the Caribbean, I'm telling you, that's one of the things I'd like to bring here is, a, is to make a group of guys the best, the best shooting players in the, in the Caribbean. That when they, if you you want to come you want a shooter this is where you come, right? So that's take it for what you know what you know. Like I said, you know you don't have to believe anything I say. You don't have to do anything more with what I say. You can just hoop today and have a good time. That's cool with me, you know. But if you like to be a part of a, a, a movement, you know, then that's that's when we can talk. Um, yeah. So we'll we'll save the rest. But so for today. Um, I'd like to just see you get, get up and down, you know, because that's what you came here to do. But I would like to also see you play some three on three. Because that's another opportunity in, in, the, in basketball that's about to explode. Three on three. There's going to be there's going to be pro leagues for it. There's already national teams for it. And I'm tired of seeing them go go everywhere else to find, you know, washed out Jamaicans <laughs> or. Jamaicans that are second and third generations to come here and, and represent Jamaica. I don't think that's necessary. And I'm not trying to knock the guys that, that, that left, but there's talent here. All right, fellas? Okay, so if you warmed up,